Hi everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, this is this will be basically my first video of many. Um, if you have something that you can't figure out and you'd like for me to help, um, I'm great with sourcing information out. So um, if it's something that I know I can do, I will try my best to you know get it up and have a video out for you as soon as possible but for today I'm gonna be sharing with you how to get around the faded feature on the header um, and footer for Word. Um, I'm just gonna be doing the header actually today because basically the same rule will apply to the footer but if you're having problems do let me know. Um, how we do it is in Word uh, you know the the custom or the regular way of doing it is editing the header, um, importing your header, of course. I have a pre-made something here um, set up, and then you scale it to whatever it is. Um, usually, I would suggest, you know, editing your margins prior, but um, as you can see, the image is clear. But once you close that header out, it word automatically just ha has this blur um, or transparent, uh, not too transparent, it does have a sort of like a, a blurred effect um, over it and there's no way of getting around that other than to you know import a picture using um, just the import method instead of um, importing it into the header you imp import it into the page. Um, let me go back and just take out that header uh, before I do that, I'm going to change the, the margins on here because I really want my header to extend. But for some of you who don't, you know, you set your margins prior because um, the feature that we're going to be, the thing that we're going to be doing really is locking in that header and footer using a passcode. And um, when you do that, there is no way within the body to edit that margin. So if this is a personal document where you know you're not going to be going you know back and forth with the margins then you can preset it and then all you have to do is edit the text and not be worried about the header and the footer at that point. Um, however if you're editing it for a company then I would suggest um, you either give them the passcode or maybe you know you yourself do the editing for them to save them you know that little headache there or that little hiccup um, within this getting around the the actual header blurred effect thing um let me go ahead and uh, click that and Okay, I did that because I wanted to go to the top of the page here. I haven't figured out how to get there yet, but um, this is just a work in progress thing that I just uh, figured out um, the other day of how to getting around it because I actually did it for a friend um, and I wanted to share it with you guys because when I searched online, you know, I did my sourcing, there was absolutely no one that can, you know, recommend something other than doing a watermark or dealing with the fact that you have a blurred effect over your header and your footer. Um, now that we've done this, we go to insert, we insert a picture right there, and as you can see, it's inserted. Now what I do is I, I r use the right arrow to um, basically go down, then um, enter, go to the end of the image, then enter and go all the way down. You can edit, you know, if you have a small little header here and you can have text on the side, it's really up to you how you're going to be placing your header. Um, for me, it, this is just something that I want to show you or share with you um, how to input it and then lock that, that specific section out. Now, say you don't want to start um, your text all the way to the side here. Let me click the tab. Say so you want to start it here. Now, I would suggest you doing this beforehand if you'd like. Um, that way, uh, this portion always stays locked. Um, 
But if you don't, you could always go back, you know, and then start from there. The reason why I'm act I'm saying this is because once we go to review and we go to protect document and restrict formatting and editing, you then have to select an area where you want to start um you where you want to allow people to to be, start editing um, from. Now we click allow and I I usually do comments um, everyone but you can you can put whomever you want in there that that will be able to to use it and um, just one second let me just let me just start here because I actually highlight a specific section um, when you highlight that specific section it's the, the beginning and ending um, here we go everyone yes now you have to enter a password obviously to to in order to enable the restriction my password I just entered this test now if as you can see this is in it's highlighted in like a yellowish sort of like dull barf color um, all you have to do if you don't want to see that when you're typing like this you know you see a yellow highlight underneath you uncheck this box here highlight the regions I can edit and then you just basically you know keep typing whatever it is you want to type um, and those areas will be the areas that you can type in now if I were to go here and say I want to try to type I'm you know I'm tapping on the keyboard nothing happens that's because the res this is the area that you know this area here and onwards is basically the area that you can um, edit now this is only for those who you know wish to get their their header to show brightly without that blurred effect over um, and as I mentioned before if you're doing this for an orga organization I suggest either you edit it for them or you ensure that they have the password to go in um, and edit whatever sections they want themselves um, I think that's it for now you can go back and forth obviously to um, stop the protection or to enable the protection but if anyone is trying to say you know open this document and try to adjust this um, you see they cannot move it there is no way of moving this down or around or anything um, <clears throat> however if the protection is gone they obviously can move it around and case in point let me show you here I remove the restriction I can m simply move this around anywhere you know on on the page so uh, this is basically how you can get around that blurred effect I hope you enjoyed my video and sorry about the angle I am now you know getting my little office set up so um, I'm here if you have any questions um, or any other questions not relating to this obviously just send me a message and um, I'll get back to you as soon as I can do you have a great day and Enjoy. Take care.